Hello and welcome to Late Night Gaming with Long Night Entertainment. I'm Mycosa, and we are still playing Factorio. Got Centarius with us here, helping us to get a good factory going. And where are we at right now? We finally have automated production of conveyor belts. If you'll come over to your to the east. I'm right there. They're I not see it. being bought, being put on a belt at the moment. Eventually, we'll use them for green science. They're just being uh, put in a box where we can pick them up as needed. I see. Speaking of science, red science, ooh, does require copper plates. I think that now that we have some conveyor belts being produced automatically, which is literally the point of this game, it's time to think about our need to mine and smelt copper. Which is going to mean getting to that lower end one. Oh, wait. Where do you yeah, think we should what go? I'd like there's to there's do... two small ones here. Uh, like you can see my mouse. <laughs> there's two small ones to the if south you, right of us. To the southeast. And to I, the southwest. I like the two to the southeast. It's on the other side of a body of water. We'll get to it eventually, but uh, we may frankly need rail to pull it around the water, depending on how extensive the water is. Gotcha. What I'm thinking is we leave enough space here for, you know, uh, a couple more ranks of this sort of iron smelting, and then yeah. build the copper smelter to the south, Ooh. nearer the copper. And then we, we'll, we'll have to belt the coal down to it, and then we'll belt the, co the smelted copper back up to be generally near this belted iron plate, because that's the beginning of our main bus. Um, I think that there are actually two distinct tasks to work on right now. Copper mining and smelting, one, and expanding the power plants, two. So if you want to focus on one of those, I will focus on the other. I'll focus on the power plant, I think. Yeah, because, you know, as you know, you can click on a pole to see where you are, and our, you know, as the machines switch on and off, our our consumption is spiking to close to 60% of our capacity. I so see. I suggest going up to at least six boiler or six steam engines. You might want to build just build it out to, uh, to 13 boilers and 10 steam engines, and to do that, you'll probably need some pipes going under and above ground and so on. I see. All right, I'll I'll give this a whirl. I'm not sure if I know quite how to do this properly, but I'll give it a whirl. Pipe to ground? What does a pipe to ground do? Ah, it goes, yeah, uh, it's just to the right. Oh, yeah, pipe to ground. It goes underground, so you can walk over it or run conveyor belts over it. And uh, ha have you run belts underground before? Not yet. It hasn't come up, and it hasn't really come up yet. I'm afraid. All right. The reason I ask is that pipe to ground and the underground conveyor belt hooking up the two ends works the same way. I see. So I can set the pipes going along, so we can go over this if we have to. All right. So it sounds like for starts, like you're thinking I should do one long chain of the boilers and the uh, steam engines. Yeah, I certainly would put the boilers in a straight chain, and yes, we will briefly lose power when you reconfigure things. The steam engines, you could do two banks of five with a, with the pipe after the boilers, the pipe splitting to gotcha. carry the water to each Ah, bank. the pipes can split. Good. I wasn't certain of that. Yes, just just by building them next to each other. And how many boilers did you think was was good? Uh, 13. The, the 13 gets you 99% efficiency. Some people prefer 14 because that's, you know, 100%, but 13. Eh, I don't mind doing 14. I mean, it's only yeah, one yeah, difference. Do, four, do 14. Yeah, do 14 then. And, you know, you'll need to, to extend the line of inserters feeding coal, etc., etc. Speaking of coal, are we fully backed up here? Yes. Excellent. I'm wondering if I can run 8 copper smelters off of those same two drills for coal, and I think the answer is yes. Alright, that's good. Gathering up some stone when you to make finish... more of these boilers. Here's something. Uh, military research is there. Uh, no, no, no. 
It's nice to actually have someone who knows what they're doing to help me out, by the way, just for the record. Yeah, well, it's fun to have someone to work with, both to, you know, two hands, two, two mouses and keyboards are faster than one, and it's, it's fun. Yeah. It's social. <laughs> And I'll tell you, once I know what I'm doing, I'm pretty good. I mean, I think you remember versing me in StarCraft. You were better than me, but I was no slouch. Um, I certainly believe that. I honestly don't remember. It was a while ago. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no worries. No worries at all. I just happened to remember it from back in the day. I was working on one of my older laptops, uh, just seeing what was on it. I actually came across some of the old replays. Nice. That's a thing you've got better than me, and Vramus is better than me at that too. Just, in his case, not as much better, but it's it's still there. I am just not as good at the fine micromanagement as I would like to be. I, I'm not bad, but I know it's not my specialty. Yeah, you know, as as in all things, it's really a spectrum. I'm, well, I've gotten a lot worse due to lack of practice, but I'm not nearly as good as you know someone who who does it you know on a on a once a week basis. Who is and they're not as good as someone who does it every day, and they're not as good as a professional who does it twenty hours a day in some cases. Definitely, I I actually knew a guy when I was when, back when I was living in Florida. I knew a guy who actually did play, um, whatchamacallit, he actually played StarCraft, you know, competitively for a while. Uh, power's back up for the time being. I'm just, uh, you, I'm, I'm dropping individual, uh, conveyor belts to sort of mark out how much space I need to leave for a future expansion. I'm thinking I want to leave, we have some room to the north here, I want to leave room for two more banks of two, uh, two more banks of pairs of furnaces. Gotcha. <laughs> this is interesting, watching the, um, watching the loaders kind of competing for fueling the uh, burners. You mean, you mean like if uh, the, the, the first one is gobbling up too many resources, or...? At first, yeah, but they're, so, they're starting to weigh through. It's down, starting oh, to happen. Got it. Yeah, we may need a second drill. Uh, I, I like to have a dedic dedicated mining drills providing coal only to the power plant, so that even if we overbuild our smelting uh, and run short on coal, the power plant keeps running, because we're really screwed when the power plant shuts down unexpectedly. Hmm. Oh, and pardon me a moment. I need some iron plates. There, now I'm fueled. <laughs> now you said how many of these uh, steam engines? Ten? Total? Ten. Ten use all the water that a single pump can produce. Gotcha. I need one more then. It's cool to see this automation. It really is. You know, what's already going on, I mean. Oh, yeah. No, no question. It's, uh... This game was pitched to me by an old friend who I hadn't seen in a long time. She and her boyfriend and I were walking down the street in Pittsburgh when I was visiting them after a wildlife conference earlier this year. And she said, have you, have you played Factorio? And I said, no, what's that? And she said, oh, it's fantastic. It's a game about building robots to build more robots so you can research things to build more robots. <laughs> of course, the, the actual oh robots goodness. come later for, for now. The actual robots come later, for now it's machines, but whatever. 
Yeah, we are definitely going to need the copper from the deposit to the southwest at some point, okay. but now, iron is a much heavier uh, consumption than copper, hey. so we'll be good for a bit. Hey. Could I have you come up here and take a look at this for a moment? I'm, I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing wrong, but only the front three boilers seems to be on. And I thought I did this right. Yeah, I'll, I'll let me uh, run belt. I'm, I'm going to bring this belt with me as I come up because then I can uh, run electrical power back down. <clears throat> it may be that those are enough to keep the. the what you actually want to do is check water temperature. It might be that because we're not using the max electricity the plant can output, steam generators are shutting down, which means less water is required, so boilers are shutting down so as to not waste coal automatically that is I probably see. what's happening but i will i will come up and look but because i will I've got, that you have done it correctly yeah because i've got 100 water temperature all the way through these boilers and all the way through the pipes yeah the issue is yeah the issue is just that we're not using as much power as the plant can produce which is fine and i also did some uh pipes to ground so that we can easily walk through this line of boilers i didn't want to block us off that way yeah Great. Incidentally, I'm seeing here a little stone deposit, so after I have the copper smelters running, I'll just put a drill caching some stone right here, closer to everything than the smaller deposit to the north is. This is a very long belt for the copper, but we knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing to see. And this will do the same thing we were doing before. Yep, and then we'll pull the belt with the copper uh, plate on it up here to run, not next to, but near-ish to the iron, so that, we're, so that when we are producing something, we can, the way I'm doing this little setup of uh, just gears, well, you can't see my monitor, or me pointing at it as I sit here in my home <laughs> office. You no, know, I have but, done um, that twice now. <laughs> But, but you see how this is being pulled off to the side? Yeah. The idea, this is, a, this is not a permanent setup. This is just a little stub that's making some transport belts. But ultimately, the belt, the, the transport belt, could be put on a belt going back to the south and then run to the east as part of the main bus. Yeah, so I'm gonna I mean, bring that's the, how this is going. And, and you leave enough space between each belt to allow them to weave under each other. I got it. I All got right, you. Let's see. So this is so now I need to electrify the fully built copper plant. For which I'm going to need more wood again. You wouldn't happen to have telephone poles on you, would you? Well, no, but I've got more than enough wood to make some. Yeah, could you and uh here I'll t I'll throw down a chest here that you can put them in. I'd appreciate it, like frankly as many as you can. Honestly, More like 50. I think I have enough to actually do exactly 50. Great. In the meantime, I want to do an inserter. And a pardon and my desire stone. for uh, par pardon my desire for neatness there. <laughs> What? We're under attack. Not for long. Where is it? it they destroyed a boiler. Darn it, that, that's... They destroyed a boiler. That's going to cut off our entire power production. One minute. Ah, yes, now is. I don't okay. have any... Okay, we're uh, going to need... Turrets. Well, we can just, th just throw a pipe in there for the moment. Yeah. One minute. I got a pipe. 
Yeah, well, we'd, we'd have to research, I think, turrets. But we're clearly going to need some turrets protecting the power plant. Definitely. And with that, it's been roughly 20-ish minutes since the last one. So let's cut this particular episode off here. We've got a goal. Turrets. Firearms. Something to kill with. So... Thank you all for tuning in. Centaurus and I must make ready for war. So, if you liked what you saw, give that like button a boop. And as always, thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. Take care. With the line, we can uh, have a single plant uh, building a conveyor belt and just depositing them in a chest. Sounds good. Right, uh, and over there we go. Okay, that's how that's supposed to go. You know, without you know falling on spikes and dying horribly.